keep shining, shine brighter than, you know, <laughs> shine as bright as you need to, to light your path. I guess the advice I would have for those starting out in my field would be to be bold. Be bold with your thoughts, with your position, with the concepts you want to share. Even if they're wrong later on, be bold in accepting that they were wrong. Um, I think when I first started out, I was still kind of like feeling my way out, listening to a lot of people. And it took me a, a while to really like assert myself and feel confident in, in, in being me and being fully me. And I think the younger generation, they have a lot more chutzpah <laughs> and it's really beautiful to watch. And I think there's something so awesome about just like coming into a space and not being afraid to take it over, not being afraid to like play big. Um, so I think that would be my advice. Like, yeah, there might be people that have been in the industry a little longer than you, but like your relationship with your intuition, that's, that's the template, that's the blueprint. That's the blueprint for your trajectory. And I don't think anyone can really tell you how to do that. They may give you advice on some pitfalls to avoid, but as far as what your vision is, like, go for it, go for it. For any entrepreneur, especially women entrepreneurs, never give up. And I know that's so cliche, but it is what it is. Like, keep on, just keep on kicking, like, just keep on going. Equinox told me no at first. I had no certification. I just had a mission. I just wanted to help people. And they told me no. And they said, if you get your certification within a year, we'll hire you. And I got it in two months and I got hired. So just keep going and don't be afraid of no's. Um, don't be afraid to take up space. A lot of times we like to be a little timid or not want to step on any toes. Tell people to back up, you feel me? Make room for yourself. Tell people, yes, I'm coming through. Don't be scared to walk the walk or walk in your purpose and tell people to move around. They don't gotta leave, but they gotta get out the way for you. So for anyone who's just starting out in film or even entertainment as a whole, my advice is to stay open-minded and, and don't silo yourself. The advice that I have for people starting out in this industry is don't forget to be a student of the game. Always read, watch videos, just perfect your craft because there is always something new to learn. Network. This is a very small relationship-based field, so every connection matters. I'd also say to be ambitious. Don't be afraid to have big goals. Write those goals down and execute them. There's a couple of things. I think the biggest thing is be yourself. Be genuine to who you are. It's easy for you to feel like you have to conform to the people and the things around you because either you gotta fit in or you feel like that's the only way you're gonna make it. You're going to feel that way regardless, but staying true to yourself is going to trump all of that like you no one can take who you are away from you and it's the one thing that you can really hold on to because no one can be you and you can't be another person it's such an important question and honestly even when i'm talking to young women today who are starting on venture capital i don't feel like i have a right answer of what can you do to make it work the only thing that's really made a difference for me is making sure I'm always checking in with myself. Whether it's about my career, checking in, making sure I'm happy, making sure I'm doing a job because I want to and not just because other people think it's cool or impressive, making sure I'm actually adding value, or if it's thinking about my investment thesis and trying to hold true to what I believe is a good company and form my own thoughts rather than just taking on what the industry says is a great company or a great idea, there's nothing more important than checking in with yourself and being in tune with how you're feeling. I think that's just as true professionally as it is when it comes to mental health or personal relationships. You need to always know why you're doing something. And frankly, that's what drives me. It's always being aware that there's a greater purpose and there's a greater goal to any individual task or thing I'm working on. My advice for people who are starting out in the industry is to persevere. Your journey may look different from others, but it's your journey and it's unique to you. So trust the process and persevere. The number one piece of advice that I would give to those coming up in my industry 
is to stay true to yourself and what your vision is. For people who are trying to kind of figure out how to get into tech, I would say start by reading. There are so much great free information, so many podcasts, so many articles, so many things out there, even on social media like Twitter or Instagram. And so, you know, follow me, follow some of the investors that I follow and some of the founders that I've invested in and just start learning about the industry because there is a place for you here. You just have to figure out what your niche is and go after it. My advice for people starting out in communications or financial services is that you have to trust and follow your gut, but also be the most well-researched person in the room. That combination makes you unstoppable, but without one or the other, you're just another cog in the wheel. I am Francesca Medina of Hey Fran Hey, and I am phenomenally her.